This is part 19 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to convert a JSON object to a JSON string and a JSON string to a JSON object. This is continuation to part 18, so please watch part 18 before proceeding. JSON.stringify method converts a JSON object or a JSON array into a JSON string. Let's understand this with an example. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session employees json is a json array this json array contains two json objects this is the first json object comma and then the second json object we want to convert this employees json array into a json string and to do that we are going to make use of json dot stringify method so to this method we pass the json object or the json array that we want to convert to a json string in our case we want to convert this employees json array into a JSON string. So the stringify method is going to convert that to a JSON string and return that. So let's store the return value in a variable result. Now we want to display this JSON string within this development. This development has got an ID so let's use the jQuery ID selector. So we want to find this element by ID and the ID is result dev. And let's use the HTML method and pass result to that function. So let's save the changes and when we reload we should see the JSON string and look at this. This JSON string has got both the JSON objects as the first JSON object comma and then the second JSON object. So now let's see how to do the vice versa. Let's see how to convert this JSON string into a JSON array and to do that we're going to make use of JSON dot parse method. So this method is going to convert a JSON string to a JSON object or a JSON array depending on what you have within the JSON string. So this JSON string has got two JSON objects so it's going to be converted into a JSON array when we use the parse method. So let's actually copy this JSON string. So this is a valid JSON string so let's copy that and back in Visual Studio let's create a variable let's actually name this JSON string equals the string that we copied from the web page so that's our JSON string we want to convert that to a JSON array so I'm going to make use of JSON.parse method and to this we are going to pass our JSON array I mean JSON string. So what is this parse method going to do? It is going to convert that JSON string into a JSON array. Let's actually name this variable employees JSON. So this now contains a JSON array. Now what we want to do is loop through each JSON object that is present in this JSON array, retrieve the property values and display them within a div element like this. So we want to retrieve first name, last name, gender and salary values and display it. Since we have got two JSON objects, we want to retrieve the property values of both the objects. So to loop through each JSON object that's present within this JSON array, let's use the jQuery each function. So dollar dot each. So to this each function, I'm going to pass the JSON array that we want to iterate over. And the second parameter is going to be the callback function. So this function will be called for each element within that JSON array. And to this callback function, I'm going to pass two parameters. The first parameter is going to be the index of the item that we are currently iterating over. And the second element is going to be the item itself. Okay. So what do we want to do? Look at this. When we type item dot, we get, you know, the properties of the JSON object that is present within this JSON array. We know that within that we've got an employee object and the employee object has got first name, last name, gender and salary properties. So I can use first name to retrieve the first name property value. So let's actually create a variable here to hold our result. and Let's initialize that to an empty string. So result plus equals first name equals plus item dot first name and then let's also append an HTML break so we get each property on a separate line and let's do the same thing for all the other properties so we want last name 
we want gender and finally we want salary to get the last name we use dot last name dot gender and finally dot salary okay and since the last property I'm going to use an additional HTML break alright so let's save the changes and we actually want to display that result variable within this div element so let's use the, um, you know ID selector again so find element by ID and the ID that we are looking for is result div and let's use the HTML method to that let's pass our result variable alright so let's save the changes and when we reload we should get both the employees properties and the values so we use json.parse method to convert a json string to a json object or a json array now to this parse method you have to you know provide a valid json string what's going to happen if you don't provide a valid json string so if i remove this colon symbol here that's not a valid json string so if i try to reload this let's see what's going to happen so we have provided an invalid JSON string to this parse method so notice that we don't get any output but then when we get to the developer tools by pressing F12 key we should see a syntax uh, error look at that we have an uncaught syntax error and it says unexpected string okay now Google Chrome doesn't actually show the error in a nice way um, it shows the error here but let's try to browse this with Internet Explorer and see what error we get so let's browse with Internet Explorer let's actually set that as default so again it says expected colon and let's click no we don't want to debug and let's launch developer tools and then within the debugger when we reload this page let's see what error we get look at that it says you know it's expecting a colon and look at that the error is on this line on the parse method you know to this parse method we are passing this JSON string and it says it is expecting a colon within that JSON string so for the parse method to work you need to pass it a valid JSON string thank you for listening and have a great day